guys, you know that February is Black History Month. How many of you knew that? All of you? All of the kids knew that February was Black History Month. But most importantly, how many of you actually know something about Black History Month? Oh, Melissa, Blaine, you guys know something. For example, Melissa, tell me what is important to you about celebrating Black History Month? Um, I think it is important to recognize all the, all the black African-American people who fought to, for us now to have freedom. Okay, now do we think that we need to say black and African-American or you think that you could say black or you could say African-American? Do they mean the same thing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They do? Okay, for example, if someone Blaine said that you were black or they said that you were African-American, which one would you prefer? African-American. African-American, why? Because it's just more proper to say it that way. It is? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys agree? Yes. Okay. So right now I'm sitting here with all kids. You know, this is a big discussion going on right now in the United States because some people still are using the word Negro. Some people are using the word African American and some people are using the word black. This came up recently with the census. Do, it, do you guys know what the census is? Well, the census is when the government counts the number of people of every race and every community throughout the United States to decide where they need to spend funds. And on one of the forms, they put Negro, they put Black, and they put African American. And some people were offended by the word Negro. Let me ask you, let me ask you, young man, would you be offended if you heard the word Negro? Yeah. Why? Why? Because when my little kid was born, they didn't like that word. Okay, you're, okay. And what about you? If you heard, if someone called you a Negro, would you be offended? Yes. Wh why? Because there's no reason uh, to call somebody a Negro instead of calling them African American. Okay, and more importantly, you would prefer to somebody just call you by your name, right? Because that's who you are. Now, young man, let me, let me find, of all the people that you can think of in, in African-American history, black history, however you want to, you, whatever term you want to use, who's the most important person you can think of? Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. And why? Why Martin Luther King? Because he fought for us. He fought for us to, to be able to do what? To have freedom. I think we were already free, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Some people didn't feel free, did they? Okay, I need you to talk up because you have things to say, right? Okay. Blaine, what about you? Who, who would you say is the most important person? Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. And why Rosa Parks? Because she made a difference. She made a difference? By showing what it, life should be like where everybody is the same. Just, oh. just not by their color. Okay, very, very good point. Okay, and what about you, Melissa? Because, Melissa, I know you have... Who's the most important person to you? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I need you to look into the camera because everybody wants to see your beautiful face. Why would you say Martin Luther King? I would say him because he led many of the marches against... To, that led to us having equal rights now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He led many marches through Selma and also through uh, Chicago and Detroit and Memphis. Does anybody know what city Martin Luther King was assassinated in? Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, you know? No, it wasn't Georgia. Okay, does anybody know? He was actually assassinated in Memphis. In Memphis. He was there actually getting ready to give a speech. The night before, he gave one of his most famous speeches, which was called The Mountaintop. You remember? You guys know that speech? What speech do you guys know from Martin Luther King? There you go. What speech do you know? I have a dream. I have a dream. Okay. Okay. That's the only one you know. <laughs> Okay, well, he has more than I, the I Have a Dream speech. What do you think? And I didn't get a chance to ask you who was the most important person to you. But now that I'm talking to you, who's the most important person to you? Dr. 
Dr. Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. as well. And he's important to you, but I also want to ask the question, why is that speech important? Because he helped black and white people join hands together. Okay. And what do you think he meant when he says, I have a dream one day that black men and white men will be able to walk together. What do you think he meant when he said that? That even though if he dies, that will still happen. Okay, that he has a dream that it will still happen, that we will walk together. And what about you? You had your hand up. Um, I was going to say that he can, that he had a dream about black and whites talking and being friends. Yes, he did. He had a dream about blacks and whites walking and holding hands and being friends. Now, I'm, I'm going to need you to stop biting your nails while we're on camera. I want, I actually believe that you have very important people in your families that are important to black history. Because we're all important. We're all part of black history, correct? Okay. How many of you sitting with me right now think that you are an important part of black history? Yes. We're all an important part because we all make up the, the, the story. Why do you think that you're important to black history? You personally. Because, because you're black. Who are you, what do you want to be one day? Um, shoe you want to be a shoe designer. Okay, so you want to invent, create, or design something. Okay, we have people, that's very important. What about you, Melissa? What do you want to be one day? I want to be a chef. You want to be a chef? An executive chef, a shoe chef, what do you, what, a sous chef, what do you like to cook? Uh, I like to cook all kinds of food. I just like the part, the cooking part about it. Okay, well, my nephew, who's sitting right here in front of me, he likes to cook as well. Okay, that's what he, what do you want to be, Blaine? Chef. He wants to be a chef as well. And what do, we, what do you want to be? A football player. What do you want to be? A football player. What do you want to be? The, I, what did you say? You want to be a, the president of the United States? Do you think you could be the president of the United States? Absolutely. I agree with you. And what about you, young man? You want to be a minister? Wow. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King was a minister. And you want to be a minister. How old are you? Eight. Eight years old and you already know that you want to be a minister? That's impressive. <laughs> That's really impressive. Wow. Well, I'm sitting with some dynamic kids of Sarasota. And this just goes to show you that if you ask the kids their opinion, if you ask them what their dreams are, if you ask them what they want to be, they all have an answer. What do you guys think that I want to be when I grow up? <laughs> what did you say? What do you think? Um, a producer. A producer? A talk show host? Um, a talk show host. A talk show host? A producer? A commercial person? On TV all the time. On TV. On TV? A producer. Well, you guys are all right because I want to grow up and be Oprah. <laughs> so, so she's a producer and a, and a host of a television show, and she has a little bit of money, so I heard. But I thank you guys so much for taking the time and talking to me because I think that it's very important to educate our children, and even more importantly, for our children to educate us. Every last one of them is a part of our future, and every one of them is a very important part of Black History Month and Black History in total. So I look so forward to seeing you guys very soon with another segment of On the Town with Lorenzo. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Yes. And on my show, there's a word that I use. It's called Luca Shea. I created the word. Luca Shea means I'm fabulous beyond words to describe it. Oh, you knew that. I, can you guys all say that word with me one time? One, two, three. Luca Shea.